Previously on Next Level Chef. Go on time. Today, it's the eight talented home cooks. This is a life-changing opportunity. I'm panicking. I have no clue where to take it from here. Standing in front of us now, we have the five most talented home cooks anywhere in America. Well done. I know this is just the auditions, but it feels like I just won the Olympics. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Tonight, Pro Chefs, time to see what you're made of. Let's take your baby straight to the top. <laughs> Babe, I'm not letting go. I'm not letting go of it. It is game on. Oh, oh my God. We got no, no. lights. The pressure's really on. This is all or nothing. giving Freddy Cougar kitchen though. Walking into that basement and I'm looking at it like, this must be where like Freddy Cougar and Jason Voorhees will just come and make a sandwich and then go back outside and terrorize the world. It's like nightmare on next level street. <laughs> I didn't even know metal can bend like that. <laughs> it's apocalyptic. Look at this kitchen, Rob. Wow. Oh, well I found the plate. Oh my gosh. My grandma called, she wants her kitchen tools back. <laughs> Look at this thing. Yeah. It feels pretty overwhelming knowing that three professional chefs will be eliminated today, especially in front of the world's best chefs. I'm really hoping that I don't buckle under pressure. Should probably get organized because I'm not going to be able to bend over. Summer. Is she pregnant? She's building her sous chef in there. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's professional chefs. Yay. Please don't tell him, but yeah, Chef Ramsay is my screensaver. Mm -hmm. He's a lot of people's icon, okay? I'm not weird. Ooh. It sounds really creepy now, so yay. You only have 20 minutes to cook. There's eight of you down here. Only seven of you progress to the next level. After that, six of you up to the top, from which we'll take five into the draft. Make sure you're in that final five. We're in the basement. Things down here are never organized. So, your first challenge is to turn the scraps coming down on the platform into something special. Line up, please. First grab. Ooh! You've got this. Oh, no, 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 no. Vaughn, you are oh, not about to trample me, my boy. Vaughn, stand next to me. You're like Biggie Smalls. I ain't going home either. I'll take on anybody. Pros, home, their kids, their cousins. Only competition I have is me. Platform is moving. Oh, oh yeah. get in my way. On your mark, it's set. Go, let's go, come on, let's go. Oh, we're gonna learn so much about these chefs. There's not a lot of stuff. That's a barren platform. Come on, guys, grab. It's vicious, it's like the apocalypse. You're literally fighting for your last meal. Let's go. Cod cheeks, great. The first thing I do see is cod cheeks, but I don't think I've ever made cod cheeks before. Grab, grab, grab. I see the shrimp, so I grab it. It's in my hand. I'm gonna say in my hand too, babe. Oh, I got oh, it. Oh. Did she just steal my prawns? I'm not letting go. This is competition. If I have to fight a pregnant lady over some shrimp, it's game on. If you haven't got a protein, you've got to grab a protein, guys. Hot dogs? I don't know how I'm gonna turn this into a dish for some of the top chefs in the world. Tell you who hasn't got a protein? My heart is racing because I have to have a protein. There's some livers left here, let's go. So I went for the chicken livers. Let's go, grab, grab, grab. Well done, right, let's go. 20 minutes, guys. We're going, we're going. The heat is on. The professionals, they understand how hot it is in that basement, but it would be a great insight for me to cherry pick not just my winning team, but individuals that I know that will knock Richard and Aisha back down to the basement again. Oh, this guy's yeah, moving. This, this guy's in it. Right, Ron, no. you seem pretty composed. Absolutely, I've been waiting for this my whole life. I'm gonna do this right, I'm gonna do a play on the shrimp and grits. Black and catfish and grits, sir. Gotcha. Definitely taking risks when I grab the catfish. I've never made grits with rice before, but I'm gonna make it work. Come on, baby. 
Right, uh, Zach, tell me about the dish. Where are we going? We're going to do a uh, little bit of um, seared chuck steak with a little bit of corn and sweet potato succotash, a bit of Stilton blue cheese cream. Good. As a pro chef, you've been in many basements before, Absolutely, yes? chef. How are you going to elevate this dish? How are you going to get up to the next level? Um, I have to work my way to the top. Basically lost everything overnight, so i got to earn it back. I moved to Maui, Hawaii in 2017. I fell so in love with it. There's just something filling about being on the ocean side. It's like, this is why I live here. And then 2023, my whole life turned upside down. Over 2,200 structures in Lahaina, which is in Western Maui, have been destroyed. The Lahaina fires took everything from us. My house, everything I've owned. There's nowhere to live. Everything's burnt to ash. It's like, how, how could this happen to us? But I'm just super fortunate that my girlfriend got out and uh, we're physically safe. Yeah, it's all right. How's everybody doing over here? I am a chef and farmer. I do farm to table dinners. And now our main focus is feeding the displaced. We're cooking about 800 meals every other day out of our 40 foot kitchen trailer. And there's a lot of people looking for help. So we're here to help them. Winning this competition would mean so much to me to take some of that money and give back to Lahaina because that's what it needs right now. We're behind you, okay? Absolutely, Chef. So do this for yourself, your family and Maui. 100%, okay. 100%. Focus, young man. Five minutes gone. There goes that. Angela, so cup cheeks. I'm going to pan sear them, probably do a lemon butter caper sauce. I'm going to try to make little dumplings and put them around right, my plate. Okay, a lot going on in 20 minutes. Uh, bring your A game, okay? Yes. And create something unique to get to that next level. Yes, Let's chef, go. thank you. Come on, come on. There it is. Push, push, push. I want to see what I'm going to be drafting later. Come on. What am I even going to do with this? Summer, how are you feeling? A little scrambled, but we're going to make it work, chef. Tell me about this dish. It's a fritter with some sort of sauce on the bottom. I saw you fighting for that prawns at five months pregnant. Six uh, months. Six months, congratulations. Yes, sir. Thank okay, you. good luck. Thank you. Ari, hot dogs, what the hell? That was the first thing I saw, Chef. And you're good with those things? <sighs> We're gonna see. Trying to impress Chef Ramsay with hot dogs. I plan on uh, grounding these up, turning it into some sort of a meatball. Well, I've never seen a meatball made out of a hot dog. Hopefully, you can use this at one of your restaurants. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, right. This is a great first impression from my idol. Oh. Jenny, how are you feeling? Um, I, yeah. Tell me about the dish. Uh, fried chicken livers. I've never cooked or eaten chicken livers. I'm trying to elevate it, like with the pasta. What are you gonna do with the uh, pasta? How are you gonna cook that? Uh, I gotta figure out what I wanna do there. Just be careful of those livers, okay? Get them nice and pink, oh. don't overcook them. Careful of these proteins, guys. I don't want them overcooked. That's why we're pros, right? Yes, yes, sure. right. Come on, Dad, you kicked my ass my whole life to be here. Right, my man, Chris, tell me about the dish. What are you doing? Okay, I got some chicken strips, mm -hmm. poison sauce, I got some lentils, I got these in a the can. I'm kind of just going with the flow. Yeah. Don't overcomplicate it. I'm tasting as I'm going, yeah. chef, so I'm adjusting as I'm going. Being raised by a chef, he was always on my ass. He always says, taste, taste, taste. Young man, you are blessed. Being on a food truck is like being on a culinary tour bus. I'm a chef rock star cooking amazing food for everybody to see. Thank you, my brother. Appreciate you, man. But the things I had to do to be where I'm at today, I mean, it wasn't handed to me. I was 13 years old. I was a kid, and I ended up picking up the graffiti art, and it got me in trouble. It actually landed me in juvenile hall. When I got bailed out, my dad said, you're going to go to the kitchen and learn how to wash dishes. You're going to be with me. I'm going to teach you what hard work is, son. My dad was a mission star chef. I mean, I didn't know that my mentor was right in front of me the whole time. Winning Next Level Chef, I owe it to my father. He's my lifelong coach, my mentor. He's my everything. I've got a lot of respect for you, father. A lot more respect for you if you get yourself up there. I worked my ass off to be here. Thank you, chef. Ooh, got emotional, man. I love cooking with emotion. Remember, Richard and Naisha are watching live, guys. I want my chefs on my team. Yes. Should I share this information with you? 100%. Okay, good, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there's a part of you that's like, should I? Let's get some tea Should in we here. really get into this? <laughs> By the end of tonight, all three of us will understand who we want on our teams. Uh, I don't know about these livers. Oh, yeah, this nice, clean dish. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. 
Charity, Thank so you grabbed... Turkey tenders, Good. crushed tomatoes, and Good. some diced tomatoes. So you're going to turn that into a nice sort of sauce somewhere? I am. I'm, I'm trying to do a play on chicken parmesan, so maybe do on like the turkey? A Yes. And how are you going to cook that turkey? I am going to fry it. Okay, there's no fat in that turkey. Yes, sir. Four minutes to go, guys. Four minutes to go. Send that message to your fellow competitors. Your pros for a reason, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. No. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Hell no. Oh, my God. we got no <laughs> lights. What? What's happening? Bloody hell, spells. We got no lights. No worries. I've been in this situation before. Wow. I like that, but though. Still going. I like that. That's I how you can it. tell they're pro chefs. The lights go on in the basement, and I'm just cooking. I've been broke before. My lights been off, so I know what I'm doing. This is what happens in the basement, right? Yes, we are back on. Great. Yeah. Come on. Literally minutes away from getting up to the next level. These are auditions, guys. Okay, baby, got it. Start plating. Let's go. Do not be the one person left in this basement. Ah, come on. Saucing Ooh, with the tongs. The tong drip. I mean, you can really see there's a pro chef's. Make sure it's on the plate for a reason, OK? You're professionals now. I want to see it. Let's go! Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Well done. Great job. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Well done. Richard, nice show. Welcome back. These guys did an amazing job. Thank you, chef. Uh, let's start off with these. So this is a, a prawn fritter. Someone had to fight for these prawns. Yeah, a lot of heat there. It's very spongy as well. It is overcooked, for sure. It finishes with a sort of oil finish on the palate. OK, Ari got very creative with the hot dog. It's a hot dog meatball. Hot dog meatball. It's either ridiculous or genius. Nisha, what do you think? Wow. And sauce work alone. Uh, really crispy as well. It's exceptional. Uh, this is a chicken liver. Jenny's dish. It's a cream sauce with chickpeas. Some bits are medium rare, and the bit I had was sort of medium well. Unpleasant. Um... Richard, what do you think? There's a lot. A lot going on there, yeah. It's a bit weird, for sure. He is right. I was just ugh, cringing on the inside. This is Zach Chuck steak. He was lucky to get this. Zach. He, yeah, he grabbed this thing. I'm going to be honest, it actually tastes like a fillet. Mm -hmm. You'd ever think that's a chuck steak. Absolutely. Seasoned well, yep. This is Charity's dish. Play on a chicken parm. Chicken parm. All right. Except with turkey tenders. Presentation's a little odd. Sure. A lot going on, yeah. They didn't say it was nasty. This is a blackened catfish and grits. Chef Vaughn. Just want to see how that is cooked in the middle. Beautiful. Gorgeous. That's delicious. The spices are bloomed very nicely. Let's move on to cod cheek, shall we? So this was cooked by Angela. Oh, yeah. Now you cook with conviction. Butter basted. Sound. And finally, Chris's dish. This is the chicken strips. When was the last time you had a non fried chicken tender? Mmm. Mmm, -hmm, it's good. It's yeah. all about the sauce. The lentils are delicious. Yeah. First of all, well done, all of you. Right now, we need a couple of minutes to discuss. Excuse us. Wow. Okay. Exceptional style. That's 20 minutes. I mean, some of those dishes look like restaurant dishes. And the lentils? That chef right. understands, like, bring that City. next level. Totally. Mm. Can't really that in your head. Man, my dad was proud. Yeah. yeah. Meatball? Yeah. Two foods that you always love coming together like yeah. that? Meatball. I just want to know already. One is remaining in the basement and making their way home. I'm oh, sorry, that's so nice to with you. Oh, girl, it's a competition. For me, I think it's it's pretty obvious to me. Ready? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, God. OK. This was a very difficult decision, but we need the best on our teams, and we've missed nothing. So the first three people moving up to the next level are Zach 
Ari and Vaughn, congratulations. Well done. You three, make your way to the elevator. Well done. Good job. Thank you, Chef. I'm making out of the basement with hot dogs. I cannot believe I just pulled this off. The next three moving to the next floor are Chris, Angela, and Charity. Congratulations, well done. Thank you, Chef. Thank Off you, you Chef. Go. Great job. Summer, Jenny, who would have thought at the beginning of that tug of war that you guys would be ending in the bottom two? Unfortunately, there's only room for one of you in the elevator. The final individual heading into the elevator is... The final individual heading into the elevator is... Summer. Not, it's not over. No. Thank you, Chef. Great job. Jenny, tough one. We know you're a talented chef, that's why you're here. But tonight was just not your night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the Thank opportunity. You, Jenny. Good job, guys. <laughs> First day jitters out. I'm sad to leave, but I'm proud of myself for like putting food on the plate <laughs> in that terrible basement. <laughs> Good luck, guys. We'll be watching. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Woo. Chef Arrington is in the house. Can imagine sort of the NFL combine of cooking. You're working your way into the draft. You've cooked your way out of the basement, and the reward is better equipment, better ingredients. This is your kitchen. Yes, sir. Line up at the elevator. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Okay, chefs, think about a dish that you can put on sort of a fast, casual menu. Put that vision on the plate. Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. Platform's on the move. Get ready. When I say go, you go. Go! I see the clams. I am coming for you. Oof, it is a scramble. So I grab the pork chop. I'm gonna pray that it goes great. Everyone needs a protein. I'm running around like a chicken with her head cut off. Grab, 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 guys, let's go. And then I got chicken thighs. Look how quick those proteins have gone. Grab ingredients. I look down, I see fingerling potatoes. Grab the potatoes. Grab those ingredients that are gonna get you into this draft. Let's go, grab ingredients. And In some way, somehow, somebody left rosemary and thyme? You guys. Back to your station, organize yourself. Okay, your 20 minutes starts now. Time is of the essence, team. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Let's chop it up. Isn't it lovely to see how fast these professionals move? Though? Yeah. I mean, they're dancing around the stones. Chris, what are we thinking? Okay, right now I'm gonna make gourmet meatballs. The judges don't know this, but I got a trick up my sleeve. I know how to cook meatballs really well, especially this size. I make them all the time in my food truck. Break what are the up. other elements of your dish? Tomatoes for garnish, and I add a little bit of sweetness, so honey. Think of a way how you're balancing that sweetness, right? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, Angela, what's the vision? I'm gonna do like a potatoes fondant with a pork chop. Potatoes fillet. fondant, okay, and how are we preparing the pork chop? I'm gonna do fried and then finish it in the oven. 20 minutes, okay. I'm gonna try my best to push it. Try? Well, I am gonna do it. <laughs> okay, keep going, Angela. How are we feeling, Ari? I'm so happy with my grab, Chef. We'd love to hear that. Tell me about your dish. Yeah, I'm gonna do a, a take on a steak and potatoes. I'm gonna do smashed rosemary potato. How are you cooking the steak? I'm gonna do cast iron. Make sure you're tasting, right, and that's not chewy or tough, right? Yes, Chef. In the basement. Your dish was a stunner. Thank you so much, Chef. It's make such sure an honor. You, make sure you stay creative, right? Okay. I'm Ari, I'm 31 years old, and I'm from San Diego. Oh, okay, why did I say my age? I think I'm like on a dating show or something. I'm single. <laughs> I took the biggest risk leaving my career as a model to become a private chef. I always kind of felt like something was missing. It wasn't really who I was. I realized I couldn't live without being in the kitchen, and so that's when I started my professional career as a chef. This competition means everything to me. It would prove that you don't need a culinary degree to be a top chef. Cooking is very intuitive, and I kind of want to show people that anything is possible. And you want to keep climbing in this competition, so keep leveling okay. up, always. 
How are we feeling, Summer? Redemption round, Chef. Amazing. What do we have going on? I'm going to saute my clams with a little bit of herbs. What herbs did you grab? Well, actually, I only grabbed parsley. OK, make sure you know what herb this is. Yes, yeah, Chef. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what is yeah. this? Cilantro. Yeah. Parsley, cilantro, they're very different. <laughs> oh, I hate myself right now. All right, guys, 10 minutes down, halfway, right? Bird. 10 minutes to fight your way into the draft, right? Yes, chef. Push, 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 push. What's up, chef? Oh, Lord, what do you have yes, going here? I'm going to do his hands here in cod. I'm going to put it over a little vegetable medley. I also have bacon. Dude, that's not ready, chef, but we're getting there, okay? You're on the way. All right, thank you, chef. And you are no stranger to the kitchen, right? I am not, chef. Chef Vaughn I'm and not Mom. Chef. I'm Chef Vaughn and Mom. It's not easy working with me because I'm a genius. <laughs> I run a restaurant with my mother in my hometown of Scranton. It's a great place to grow up. It's all about community and great food. I never follow rules in life, so I don't follow rules when I cook. I ran some of the biggest kitchens in the country, but my mom always wanted to have her own restaurant, so I had to come back, sacrifice a little bit, and I'll do this for her. I'm the man the people locally know, but now I want the world to know, so that's why I'm going to do Next Level Chef. Eight minutes left, guys. Eight minutes. Hey, Chef. Hi, Charity. Tell me about your dish. I'm doing some sort of peanut butter spicy curry with like a chorizo rice. In the African cuisine, they do like a peanut butter stew. I don't have any tomatoes. OK. So I'm going to somehow wing it and see what happens. My personality is hospitality. I am a Southern belle. Cooking is in my DNA. My mom was an event planner, and my dad was a chef in the Navy. That's where I got my chef inspiration from. Now I'm currently a traveling chef. I started my business at 22 years old. So I'm gonna treat the judges like they're my clients. Maybe that'll be my strategy. How are we cooking these chicken thighs? I'm just gonna sear both sides. Okay. And then and what do you um, have on them? I did marinate it into some soy sauce. Okay. Watch the heat, okay? Yes. Make sure you yes, always chef. stay in control of your pan. Yes, chef. I was worried about charity. It's literally a tough one. Literally. Gordon and Richard are watching you guys, and we are looking for the best of the best. All right, I got my scouting eyes out. What do you think? More here. Any standout favorites? It might be this guy right here. It might be Big Vaughn. Do you think so? Zach or Vaughn. Mm. That's what Team Blaze is looking at here. Well, they're both in my sights as well. OK. But listen, there's others out there for you. Chris, uh, growing up with a Mission Star father, he's got a big advantage. Bind it with the honey. Taste it. My bad, my bad. Always taste Chris. Anyone need butter? Woo, thank you. Sea bass, pan seared. Yep, a uh, little sweet potato puree. I'm going to do a little um, dill cream. Would you say this dish is your style of cooking, generally speaking? 100%. 100%. Fresh fish, fresh vegetables. That's what I'm all about. Farm to table? Yes, yeah, chef. Zach, what did you grab? You got the That's bass. the sea bass. Sea bass is a beauty. Now, I just want to remind you I get first pick. Why? This year. <sighs> well, I guess uh, I walked right into that one. Uh, yeah, I sorry, walked right yeah. into that yeah, one. Yeah, no, but tell me just in case I forgot. <laughs> in American sports, usually the worst team from the year prior gets the first pick. Five minutes left. Arguably the most important five minutes of your life. Yes, Chef. You got to want it. Medic. Medic. I need a medic really quick. Medic. Angela, you OK? What's going on in there? She looks worried. Please. Watch your pork chop. Be careful that doesn't burn, chef. I left the pork on the fire. Oh no, her steak's over cooking. It's still cooking on high heat. She looks worried. Yeah, well she should be. It's been cooking for a while. Right behind, right behind, right behind, right behind. Four minutes. Okay, thank you. Right behind, right behind, right behind. Right behind. Let's go, Angela. You okay? Yes, chef. Push, 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 push. Damn, I'm so mad about this. Don't forget what you're fighting for, right? A spot to be earned in that top level kitchen and your spot in the draft to be chosen. Uh, starting to heat up. Yeah, they look so good, don't they, as pros? You want to be chosen? Yes, chef. Yes, summer. <laughs> push, 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 push. What do we have in his pan, please? Clams, cauliflower, water, and heavy cream. A lot of opportunity for flavor here. Yes. Go, girl. I feel like I've hit the lottery because I got the clams. Can't really go wrong with clams. Minutes away, guys. You got it. Okay? Yes, chef. Let's go, Chris. Yes, chef. 
Make sure you are tasting your food along the yes. way. Yes, chef. I'm worried about Chris having those meatballs, which are gigantic. Come on. So one issue about making these big meatballs is they need to be cooked all the way through. Secret is, pop them into the fryer. Two minutes, let's go, start plating. Hyper speed, but precision. Big push, one shot. You don't get a second chance to make it into that draft. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Let's go, guys. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stop plating. Hands up, hands up. Good job. Chefs, okay, Naisha, that was exciting. Yes. Okay, that start with Chef Chris and these meatballs here. Wow, I mean seriously, how do you get something like that cooked in 20 minutes? That's a giant meatball. And they are cooked. Oh, look at that. Looks appealing, a little, a little sweet. Mm. Yeah. However, meatballs are delicious. Next up, Chef Bon's cod with a sort of hoisin jus. Two times we've seen fish from you, Bon. Yeah, Chef. You're just a man who loves to cook fish? No, I just, it was just right in front of my face. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, know, phenomenal, really delicious. Seasoned well. Great depth of flavor. Thank you, Chef. Okay, next up we have Charity's chicken thigh served with a chorizo and a peanut sauce. What happened to the, uh, to the color? Definitely is a little charred, marinated in soy, so it caramelized a little too much. It's burnt. It's a shame because the actual chicken's moist. The secret here is to sear the chicken first and then marinate it so you don't burn that marinade. Next up, a pan roasted pork chop, potato fondant. Angela had a tough time. She kind of nicked herself a bit. I like the flavor of the marinade, but it's a bit dry. Overcooked. Okay, next up, crispy skin sea bass with a sweet potato puree. This is coming from Zach. Stunning. Crispy skin, beautifully done. Mm-hmm. Delicious, very good. Fish is cooked beautifully. Next up, we have clams with a cauliflower puree. It's coming from Summer. May I ask, where's the clam juice? The best part. The money. Left in the pan. Left in the pan. Tomatoes are an afterthought. Yeah, the raw tomato as the garnish. It's a bit weird for sure. Okay, next dish, we have a top round served with compound butter. This is coming from Ari. Top round, tough choice, literally. Meat's slightly overcooked. Yeah, definitely over, but um, for this type of cut, I'd prefer over than under. We have some very hard decisions to make. Please give us a second. Wow, some highs and lows there. I don't want to look them in the eyes. I do, so you know, I'm not afraid. Give me whatever you got. There's three outstanding dishes, straight into the draft. Mm -hmm. And I would also say that there's one to me that's very obvious. Mm -hmm. It's not making it up to the top level. Yeah. Okay. All right. We've made our decision. Our first three dishes that are moving to the top level are going to be Vaughn, Zach, and Chris. Gentlemen, please head to the elevator. Thank you, Chef. I'm feeling emotional, I'm very excited, but it's just a reminder of all the hardships, the pain, the suffering, the blood, sweat, and tears that got me here. Thank you, thank you, Chef. Well done, pretty well done. Our next two dishes that are gonna be moving to that top level. Angela and Ari. Thank you, Chef. Thank God! I am so excited and I'm ready to kick it up a notch in the top level. Charity, Summer, you both struggled a little bit on this one. Yes. Unfortunately, the road for one of you ends here. I am holding out hope that I'm going to be on the elevator next. I am really fighting to be in the top 15. I don't want to go home. The last person moving to the top is... It's going to be Charity. Oh, my God. Oh, 
first of all, congratulations on the baby. Thank you. And not only are you an amazing chef, but you're gonna be an amazing mum. Thank you. Next time you cook clams. I'll use the clam juice. Serve the clam <laughs> juice. Clam juice. I know, I know. Come on, <laughs> clam juice. I did this six months pregnant, so I'm pretty proud of myself that I even came out here and did this. Well done. Hey, well done. I won't be eating clams anytime soon. Final hurdle, guys. Here we go. One cook away from the drafts, yes? Come on. Okay. Top kitchen, let's go. Gordon and Aisha are watching everything that you do. You have a chance to make it onto someone's final roster. This is fine dining up here. One beautiful Michelin star plate. Yes, yes chef. chef. Seeing Chef Blaze and the rumors that I've heard about his hair. The product is absolute gold. It's stellar. They're all true. Chef Blaze just has the most beautiful hair. It's blowing in the wind. It's golden. It's just beautiful. Man, Richard's hair is looking so smart. It looks like he just stepped off set from a baby gap photo shoot. <laughs> 20 minutes could change your life. This is serious time. This is the third and final cook. It's either go hard or go home, and I'm not going home. When the light goes green, it's go time. Go, there we go. There it is, what do you see, guys? Grab a protein, do you have some veg? I grab the turbo, and there's Ari trying to take it away from me. Chris and I are arm wrestling for this fish right now. I really want to win. Oh, sorry, Ari, this is mine. Do you have something for sauce? He takes it, but I see this trout come down from the heavens, and I'm like, ah. Uh, what am I gonna do? I don't know why, but I grabbed pork again. I didn't want it again. Oh, first, I'm stuck with this. What do you see, guys? I'm grabbing red prawns, tomato puree. Prosecco. Chef Blaze yells out Prosecco. I grab that. Three, two, one. If you can grab it, it's yours. Grab everything you can. All right, yeah. back to your stations. The most important 20 minutes of your life starts now. Let's go. Is it 20 minutes? Here we go. To get yourself into the draft. Last opportunity for the pro chefs. I love this because we're scouting our teams. So you get a sneak peek at the skills before you have to draft someone on your team. Who's gonna be my first pick? Is it gonna be Zach? Thank you. Maybe Vaughn? Oh man, this is gonna be hard. I know. That's why God gave it to us. We got it, Chris. Do I take a risk? Do I take, just take a wild card? Uh, I'm like nervous right now. Probably not. All right, Chef, you got the, the, the turbo? Yes. That's a the BMW of fish right there, right? Or the Mercedes, whatever brand you like, that's what it is. <laughs> this epic turbo needs some type of a sauce I have to put together an amazing beurre blanc and make a little bit sweet with that fig. I always got a sweet tooth. Cook your protein, with the exception of maybe the shrimp. That's the only one that you can get away with there at the end. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Zach, what's up, dude? I grabbed a beautiful filet. I'm gonna do a blue cheese foam. I know you're a farm to table chef. 100%. But that's very fine dining. Fine dining does not mean bland. It means caring for your ingredients and bringing all of that flavor. Come on, Rice. How are we doing over here, chef? I'm good. I'm a little nervous, but. Okay, that's, that's all right. It means you care. What dish are we doing? It's like redemption of the pork for me. I'm gonna try to do some sticky rice a little bit. Okay, sticky rice in 20 minutes. Who are you cooking for today? Probably my grandma, Ramona. Okay, oh yeah, my gosh. She's 86 years old now, so I just would like her to see me get somewhere. I'm ready for my close-up. All my cooking memories have come from Grandma Ramona, and now I cook for some high-profile clients like Timbaland, Dwight Howard, Lil Wayne. The biggest fulfillment and excitement would be Grandma Ramona seeing me win. Fighting for a spot? I mean, I'm not willing to do anything, but I mean, damn near. It's gonna take a long ass time to cook. Get, get it going. Seven minutes down, 13 to go. Chef, I cannot find a bottle opener. Right here. Oh God, let me get my head in the game. Come on, Charity. She needs to lean in. Charity, you grabbed the prawns? I did. I'm gonna try to do some sort of roasted artichoke puree with sort of Prosecco tomato sauce. This is the shells. You're gonna have work that into the tomato sauce. I don't know why I said tomato. I've been hanging out with Gordon too much. Be mindful that they don't need to cook long. Yes, chef. 10 minutes left. We're halfway through. 10 minutes. Now I'm pushing it. What is she doing? Why now? 
Why do they cook it so well? I know. She's got so much time left. I know. Eight minutes left. The rice, yeah. you happy with it? I'm happy with okay, my good, rice. Good, I'm awesome. Spanish. I, like I should know how to make rice. There you go. We are going to keep it pushing. Let's go, chef. Ari, what are we making over here with the ocean trout? I like this technique. Yeah, it gives it a good even sear. It's interesting. Ari seared the fish with the parchment paper or yeah. something in it, right? You know, you can tell that these are pro chefs. You learn something every day. Bomb, what do you got going on over chef here? Chef Jairo Bob, New York strip uh, with a spicy sweet potato hash. That's a lot of work. Oh, you You all right? You all right, brother? Yeah, I'm good. Damn it. Potatoes are on the floor, and I'm like, damn. I'm upset. If something went wrong, what's your plan B? You always gotta have a plan B. Let's go, yes, sir. But I'm a pro. The milk is spilled, mop it up, or pour another cup. Come on, Bond. You've been burning over ovens for 20 years. You got this, dude. Okay, you deserve to be here. Let's go. It's amazing what you can make happen in 20 minutes, no? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, well, that's good, because you only got five left, okay? Woo! Five left. The pork, temperature's okay? Yeah. That's it. It's a little under. It's a little under, right? I gotta so throw it back on. Maybe a couple minutes in the oven. I'm having pork nightmares from cook two that's creeping into cook three. This can't happen again. Like, I can't have it happen again. Are we doing good? We're doing good, chef. Yes, I hope. You want to get to that draft, because if you get to that draft, it's your shot at $250,000. That actually turned out so nice. And a one-year mentorship. Woo! Final two minutes, it's time to start plating. Let's go. Woo, that went fast. Keep it tight and refined. You okay? You got enough sweet potatoes? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Don't forget that pork tender one. It's in the oven still. We're, we're plating now, right? Yep. You run out of time, okay? No time to rest, though. You gotta push now. You gotta make it happen. Zach, let's go, dude. Please plate right now. Please. Ah. Charity, you gonna make it? I don't know, chef, but I'm trying. 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Stop plating. Hands up. Oh, man. Celebrate it. You got to the top floor today. Okay? Go! Oh, yes, sir. Let's go. We got here. This final tasting is it. I really want this spot in the competition. That's what's on the line. Start right here, dead center. With Ari. Some ocean trout with crushed peas. Great colors. Gorgeous. Oh, here we go. It's overcooked again. Wow. Um, fish cooked beautifully. Oh, my God. Am I breathing? Medic. I love the elegance of this. Yeah, I'm still breathing. Next up, Zach has a beef filet with blue cheese foam. Mm. A little rustic and, and a little bit under seasoned. Temperature on the steak, really, really nice. Yeah, beautiful. All right, next we have Vaughn. We have the uh, New York strip with a sweet potato hash and a chimichurri. Great sear on that. There's some depth and flavor and some richness coming from the sweet potato, but then there's this brightness and levity coming from that chimichurri. Really nice. Thank you, sir. This is Angela. This is the pork tenderloin with rice and a mm -hmm. Asian-style sauce. Did I still cook it all the way through? Like, you just can't be raw. Pork is cooked beautifully. Great sauce work. Thank you. This is pork redemption for real. However, rice is somewhat bland. If you're going to put that volume of starch on a plate, you need to lift it with something. It's the final hurdle out of the draft. If there's ever a moment to bring your A-game, it was this cook. And that rice is too plain for me. Oh my god, like because of that damn rice, I could go home. So this is a pan-seared turbo and a salad of beans. Chris really brought this one together. Lots of flavors here. Very sweet, that sauce. However, fish cooked beautifully. Again, beautifully seasoned. Head chef. Okay, these are Charity's red prawns with a champagne tomato sauce with artichokes. Sauce is delicious. Unfortunately, the tail's rubbery. Yeah, the prawns are overcooked for sure. It's clear from these dishes that each of you want a spot on one of our teams. Give us a minute, because we have a pretty big decision to make here. Mm -hmm. Wow, some great cooking there. Phenomenal. Yeah, they really leveled up. I'm proud of all of y'all. 20 minutes, I was brave to grab the pork. And rice. And rice. You crazy for that one, babe. Um, it comes down to the flavor, right? It's the combination of everything they've put on that plate. Shall we? You agree? Yeah. Yes. Before we move forward, I want to remind you what's at stake. 
Oh, ooh. Five chef jackets and six of you. Mm-mm-mm. There it is. I am praying that I've done enough to get one of those coats today. I need that. Five of you are gonna continue this journey to compete for a life-changing $250,000 and a one-year mentorship from the three of us. The first person that's heading to the draft is... Ari. I just want to call my mom and scream, I did it! I won't let you down, sorry. <laughs> I, I can't wait to run home and tell her and have a margarita after because that was so stressful. The second person who's earned their way through to the draft is... Chris. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Good nice job, Chris. And the third person is... Zach. Thank you. And the next person who's made it through is... Vaughn. Thank you. Damn, it took you long enough. <laughs> that leaves us with Angela and Charity. Yes, Chef. And only one spot left. The last person moving through to our draft is... Angela. Thank you. <gasps> okay, <laughs> I didn't win anything, just a spot. Still a whole longer race to go from there. Charity, your food is as vibrant as your personality is. Thank you, Chef. And that sauce was delicious. Truly an honor, and I really appreciate the opportunity. You can head to the elevator. Thanks, Charity. Good Good baby. Good job. The auditions have been very tough, but did I have a lot of fun? Heck yeah! All of you, congratulations. Today was only the beginning. Now I've got my eye on quite a lot of you, let me tell you. I'm spoiled for choice, but you need to bring your energy. You need to bring your A game, right? Yes, chef. Yeah. Yeah. Give yourselves a round of applause. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. This draft needs to start with a couple of curveballs. I want to go for individuals that they would never think I was going to go for. It's not always the shiny stars. Well done, everyone. I have the first pick. It has to happen for me. I've been waiting all year for this. It's hard to choose. I, I know who I want, but it's like, I, I can see greatness in all of them. Really good job. Well done, all of you. You've got your jackets. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you ever have an extra small, because I'm going to be here for a while. Okay. One, home two, three, 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 top five! five. Yeah. Woo. I got it. Top five. Uh, Put them up. Put well them up. done. <laughs> So one step closer to that prize and that mentorship, I'm ready to go. Who wants to be on Team Blaze? Next time on Next Level Chef. Today, we are going to draft our teams. Woo! We got some talented chefs in here. The draft's about to go down. Let's go. I know how to mentor winners. What did you do over the weekend? I made a draft war room board. So for my first pick, someone who knows how to grind. Do you know what? Now I have someone to prove, and I'm coming. Jordan! Woo! Hold on. Would you like to join Team Ramsey? What the hell is happening? Uh...